What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS. I want to thank you for watching this video. And what we're going to be doing today is basically, this is going to be a progression video. How to take down this, what we thought was impossible, Town Hall 11, two starring it with a Town Hall 10. And the base I'm talking about, the base I'm referring to, is the one that Dark Looters ran in the Championship War of CWL Season 1, where one hive attacked this base, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it was eight or nine times before they had to send a Town Hall 11 at it to grab a two star. And that's what we were having to do too because we kept seeing this base over and over and over again. Clinton Bay was seeing this base. I mean, it's been it's just been popping up all over. And it's for good reason because Town Hall 10s could not two star it. And I do want to give a big shout out to all my brothers, all my sisters over at Let It Chug. Um, in CWL week one, they also ran this base. All they did was kind of flip it around 180, but they also ran this base. So we had to use four attacks on it. So I'm going to be showing each variation and you can see the progression of each attack and how one plan would slightly get tweaked and make uh, slight adjustments. And you'll see the progression through it and how we were finally able to grab two stars on this epic Dark Looter Town Hall 11. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into the attacks. So for the very first replay on this base from hell, we have Steel Wall, who's going to be doing it with a shattered entry, uh, doing the bowler smash. He does have a maxed golem in the clan castle. And this was the very first hit on this base. He actually got very, very close. And you and you guys will see, just like in a lot of these attacks, when you watch the replays, you can really study the base. You find where the traps are if you get a certain amount of percentage. See where the troops go, how the troops react inside the base. And you can tweak these plans. And that's sometimes exactly what it takes to get a base like this one taken care of. So you'll see right here, uh, starting over at nine and 12 o'clock, just gonna be starting his funnel. He does have this CC golem uh, with the bowlers behind it up at 12. So goes ahead and drops a rage just to tighten that funnel that much more. Is bringing two jumps, a rage and a heal in the spell comp. So you'll see right here as the funnel was created, tried to get that wizard tower down, bowlers got it. And didn't bother with wall breakers with that wizard tower right there. So he's just going to do a, a, a jump on the entry and a jump right into the core to try to get those, uh, to try to get the town hall. And you'll see his second jump is actually a little bit down into the compartment where the queen has hopped the wall. So what ends up happening here as a CC comes out, the Valks, even under that rage, the Valks miss the town hall. And what they end up doing is they aggro onto the queen. So what he ends up doing is he drops down his king. You already know he's not going to get the percentage. He only has two archers down in the troop bar. But the king does head straight into the town hall under his ability, does grab it. But you'll see he's far off from that extra 10% to try to get that, you know, 50% to take care of this town hall. So very nice try to steal wall, trying to grab that two star on this dark looter base that we saw in the CWL final war. So now we're going to go ahead and check out Blazing Mist. Now this is the second attack that we did on this base. Blazing Mist didn't seem too confident in that plan, thinking the percentage was just going to be too much to get on the back end. So want to do a different entry. So he's bringing three P.E.K.K.A.s. We know that P.E.K.K.A.s are not only with that latest update, but people are starting to bring P.E.K.K.A.s to these 10 v 11 attempts. So that's exactly what he's doing here. Just starts a funnel over at nine o'clock and down at six did drop a max quake into the core just to soften things up. And the funnel has been created. You'll see he is also going to be doing a double jump, jumping into the base right where that Inferno Tower is, trying to eliminate that, and a jump into the core to try to grab that Town Hall. He does have CC Bowlers in the Clan Castle, goes ahead and rages everything up. Um, 
CC has come out. You'll see that the Eagle Artillery is firing. Goes in, drops another Rage, and you'll see he's did not get the percentage. Does get the Town Hall. You'll see his heroes did end up to get uh, managing the Town Hall, but is just too shy on percent. And this is exactly what we saw when One Hive was attacking this Dark Looter base in the CWL final. So just came up a little short. Now we're going to check out one more variation of this attack where we're going to have Captain Oates is going to be coming in here. Now he kind of favored, he, he saw some things he could tweak on Steel Wall's plan, on Alex's plan. So you'll see it's almost the exact same troop composition. Instead, he only has one poison and does bring a quake just to soften everything up in the core. He is going to have the same entry, but you'll notice his jump spell is going to be is going to be tweaked just a couple tiles, and you'll see what the difference that makes. So, uh, does drop a couple archers just trying to get this percentage over on the back end. Here he's coming in with the golems, exactly how Alex did it. Drops a golem over at nine o'clock with bowlers behind it. And you'll see he does have the CC bull, the CC golem, excuse me, and the giant uh, coming out. Bowlers behind it. Goes ahead and drops a rage down at nine just to create that funnel, make everything nice and tight. And you'll see he does also start the Valks a little bit earlier. But there's the first jump. Now look at the other. It almost looks like he missed it, but he purposely dropped the jump to the right side of that wall because he doesn't want his Valks to aggro onto the enemy queen. He wants them to take out the town hall. And there he drops down his uh, heal spell as he was getting quite a bit of damage from those expos. Goes and drops down the rage. Valks more or less one shot the town hall and you'll see he's at 41 percent he drops his king on the back end as there is a lot of low hit point buildings down there over at three o'clock but you'll notice that his king is only level 33 but look at how close he gets to that 50 percent he got a 47 percent one star so at this point in time we were pretty confident that we would be able to two star this base now let's go ahead and watch Fam Ho, which is Captain Crunch's alternate Vietnamese ego. And he's going to be doing it the exact same way. Same everything. He also does have a Max Quake uh, that he's bringing along with this attack. So same entry over at 9, up at 3. That has the Golem in the Clan Castle. You'll see the, the EA is firing on his bowlers down there. Drops his jump spell leading in. Same thing. Look at the second jump, which is on the right side of that wall to ensure that the Valks grab that town hall. Quake is down to soften everything up. But Fam Ho does have a level 40 king, which makes all the difference in the world, especially on a, a damn near impossible base like this one. So Town Hall's down. You see he's at 42%. Also brought a couple baby drags, tweaking the, the plan ever so slightly. And you'll see his king right here is at 49%. Bam, there goes the ability at 52% now. 53%. Two star is already in the bag. And he does have a couple archers as the Eagle Artillery is firing, but just trying to get that percent as the Hound is about to chase the archers down. And we could not believe when this happened. And until this happened, I personally, as well as a lot of people in our clan, maybe you guys have seen it, but I had, I had never seen this base two starred by a Town Hall 10. We, it, when we ward the loss, they also ran this base. It was just flipped around 180, but it was the exact same base, same layout. And we had to use a town hall 11 to two star it, which is exactly what one hive had to do when they match dark looters. But that right there is how you take down this dark looter, epic, insane, impossible town hall 11. That's how you take it down 10 v 11 style. I really hope this video helps you guys if you end up running across this base in any wars that, that you guys are in. Really hope it helps you guys. If you guys like the video, make sure you like it. 
Leave any comments down below. Let me know if you like this kind of footage that I captured. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more content coming your guys' way. This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Thank you.